Hi, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Virgo, for the week of June the 19th. Now, I do have my newsletter finally out and going out once a week. It started last week, so if you didn't receive it, um, please go on to jenniferangel.com and subscribe to that. I'd love that. And also, you can book a personal reading with me through the site as well. Okay, so there's a lot going on in your area of friendship. Um, and social engagements this week. Now, also, if you wanted or have thought, been thinking about doing some charitable or some community work, this is a good time to do that as well. Right in this area, particularly around friends, there's a new beginning. We've got a new moon there, so uh, the sun is going to move in, to, and so we've got the sun and the moon connecting. Mercury, your ruling planet, is moving into this area as well. The sun Sun and Mercury are moving out of your career zone. So start of the week, there can still be some things sort of focused on around work. And then midweek, they're both going to move into this area of more social engagement and connecting with people, okay? And But it does indicate with the new moon that it's a good time to really think about the people in your life. What do they serve you? And if someone new wants to enter your life, then you might like to sort of ask, well, what does this person bring to my life? You know, are they going to sort of bring something good or are they going to sort of just create drama? And, you know, that's a decision that only you can make for yourself. And sometimes it's a matter of, you know, if, if, People have just outlived their use by date, so to speak, in your life. Well, maybe it's just time to sort of put a little bit of distance between you and them. Now, particularly if there's a monetary situation, because we do have um, a square between Mars and Jupiter, which does indicate if there's a monetary situation around a friend, you want to sort of bring that to a head during this time, or you have an opportunity to bring it to a head, okay? But don't be too rash with it. You know, take a step back, think through, as you would, Virgo, think through what you want to accomplish, how you can go about getting there with the least amount of drama, because let's not forget that uh, Mars energy can be assertive or aggressive. Okay, so you want to sort of choose what way you want to go there. Sometimes in life you have to be a little bit aggressive just to sort of get where you want and to make your point. So, but that's, uh, you know, we all have free will. So how you handle any situation in your life is always up to you. All I can do is highlight the, the vibration and the energy and give you maybe some uh, notes on how to proceed. Now, right opposite to you, um, we've got... Um, uh, Neptune in a sextile, an opportunity with Venus, and there's also a trine, which is more of a fateful connection between Pluto and Venus. So this really brings in your soul purpose and uh, love and relationships. So if you're looking for love, you can certainly meet somebody that you this week that you, or around this time that you just like resonate with. And you know when you meet like a, a, you know a person who I consider to be a um, soul mate, you know, whether they're a friend or a colleague or a romantic person, um, then that soulmate energy can really sort of come together now and for you to um, You'll feel it, you know, when you meet those people, you know almost immediately your intuition kicks in and you just sort of know. But it's a very romantic connection also with uh, Neptune, but always with Neptune, it's a message to see somebody for who they are, not who you want them to be. But all in all, it's a very, very positive, favorable week. I hope something amazing comes together for you. The, the card that I've selected for you this week is by Sonia Coquette. Um, from her oracle cards, the answer is simple, and the card I've got is just spread the light. Okay, now I love this for you. The reason I've selected it is that you've got so much going on. If there's a if there's a 
choice between being assertive or aggressive, take the assertive light. Be grateful for what you have rather than think about what you don't have. And that's the energy spreading the light is the energy that attracts more into your life of what you want. Okay. All right. Love and love to you. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.